Hi there, and this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Libra. Hi, Libras and Libra cross watchers. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as a cross watcher of the Libra. Okay. Thanks to everybody for their patience. This is going to be for the second half of April. If you've missed the first half of April, go and check it out. I also did timeless readings for all 12 signs. Um, there's just a bunch of stuff for you guys to watch in, you know, my, my video list. Since a lot of us are in quarantine, you know, we're going to make the best of it. All right, guys, here we go. Libra's second half. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Love yourself first. Ah, oh, and separation. Okay, so this is for some people that may have been stuck in some type of relationship or so, whatever it is because of children. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and then with separation. So you would find that either you or this other person may have been in a relationship that could have been karmic where they stayed a little too long because of kids. Okay, now what ends up happening? We'll see. Two of Wands, yeah, a choice is definitely made. A decision is made, someone leaves. Ah, the Ace of Cups, absolutely. They leave for themselves. I find you when I found me, you know that kind of an energy? I went through my own lessons of healing, self-love. I left this situation or, or even if it wasn't about kids, let's say for example, you were in something toxic or you were in like addictions or whatever it was, you, this person here heals. They choose themselves, they choose to love themselves, which means now they love their kids more, they, they have healthy relationships around them. So someone here made the choice to love themselves. Oh, look at that, Ten of Cups, bottom of the deck. I mean, Three of Swords, yeah, see, they healed from all that. The pain, the heartbreak, the cheating, whether it was self-inflicted pain or whether it was pain that you experienced from other people. They heal from that. They choose them. See the devil. Capricorn, though, right? But the devil is everything I talked about. Could be addictions. Could have been toxicity. Could have been a karmic, shitty relationship. This is anything that keeps you restricted. Whatever kept you stuck or restricted. If it was cheating, you were codependent, whatever that energy is, you freed yourself from it. The hermit, Virgo energy. The hermit is about self. I mean, I just said that like 17 times. Self-love, go within. That's what you did. You found yourself. And in turn, when you found you, you found them. You found your person. It's crazy how that works, right? But not really. Because like attracts like. That's why it's so important to not worry about what the fuck everybody else is doing and worry about what you're doing. Because you are your point of attraction. This could be you guys. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. King of Swords. I saw Aquarius in my head, so whether it's an Aquarius female or male, it doesn't matter. I don't know why I saw Aquarius, but it could be any air sign. It could be you guys, because you're Libra. King of Swords here, I feel like he wants to say something. He or she wants to say something. Oh my God, then they cut us off. The unknown card. <laughs> Just when it's getting juicy, huh? They cut us off. But actually, it's not really that they're cutting us off. They're, they're basically letting me know he don't know what he can say. Remember, this is the dude that's been kind of like gawking and like not saying nothing if you've been watching like my regular general readings. Okay, not specific to any sign. Like he's gawking. I, just the reading I, I uploaded, um, Romance of a Lifetime, there he was. He doesn't know what to say. What if you guys are the person? I'm just saying, Libra's. Nine of Pentacles. He's watching you. Look at you. I mean, all eyes on you. All eyes on me. Hashtag Tupac, honey. Look at you. How can nobody, how can everybody not look at you? Thriving. Self-made. You choose yourself over anything else. You and your kids, right? You, you, you scream self-love. You are, you've risen from the ashes. They're enamored. Because look at you. 
you don't accept crumbs. You know how like, attractive that is, is that a person has boundaries and that a person chooses the right things in life and that a person, that's so attractive. Only like narcissistic, egotistical, low vibrational people want people that are weak because then they can control you. They can get what they want out of you. Two of Swords, you know, he does not know what to do. He doesn't know what to say. He's, he's, he's blindfolded, but it's he don't know what to say. What do I say? How do I say I love you? Like you just say it, duh. They don't know how to say it. Oh, death. Scorpio. A transformation of something here something could happen to them to transform them to make them feel like this end of something too something here ends and then a new beginning comes end is the beginning the beginning is the end scorpio could be a comp somebody is it's competition it could be this King of Swords competition. This one's below the surface lurking, though, hasn't made himself known yet. But the King of Swords feels him. Ooh, it's juiciness over here. Three of Cups. Ah. Three's company? Nah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> There's one too many people here is what I'm feeling. Like somebody's going, what do you mean, Lauren Dresario? Whether they made themselves known or not, the Eight of Wands, that's how movement happens. So, you know, like I said, I feel like something happens. Something can happen. Movement happens. Communication comes in because there's another potential suitor. There's the tower. I told you, see, that's how it comes. Roar! It's like they fucking roar. Like, what? Sudden endings, sudden new beginnings. That's the tower. Then they step into their power. They become Kang Dangalang. King of Wands could be, you know, Fire also, Aries, Eel, Sag. But that means they're taking action. They're stepping into their power. They're saying, hell no! Ay, ay, ay. In any case, it's about time. <laughs> some of you it's somebody lurking in the shadows that you don't know who it is yet because they haven't come forward but let me tell you they get flushed out smoke them out the chariot cancerian energy forward progress movement they want to move forward with you very quickly and there you guys are libra justice some of you this is a divorce breakup to having to do a child support something judicial but it's very directly related to children God, is it going to be Mercury retrograde soon? I feel like I'm already starting to stutter. Not all retrogrades make me feel like that. Shadow periods can sometimes be the worst. Yeah, sometimes we can feel it before it comes, too. I don't know what that's about, but I feel like my speech is kind of... Uh, uh, uh. Like I'm having difficulty articulating, and that screams Mercury retrograde. Remember, the shadow and the after effects can sometimes be the worst in the actual. So anyways, justice, right? Libra, that's you guys. Making Somebody wants to make something right. Oh, now you want to make something right when you just stood there and gawked and stared and didn't do anything? Stupid ass. Oh, that flew. Oh, that's how it happens, too. The communication flies just like that. Saw that? How it just flew? Oh, they're really going to be doing a lot now. Going from nothing to doing a lot. Temperance, Sagittarius, Reconciliation, Angel of Patience. Ah, Queen of Swords, no wonder why they need patience because you come going, what the fuck you want? Ah, oh, Queen of Swords is always off with their heads. She's, mm -mm, you don't fuck with her, man. Oof, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. She don't play. She's, mm, she, may, she may let you finish your sentence <laughs> before she tells you to get the fuck out of here. She might. Nah, she will. She will because she's very highly intuitive also. So even though sometimes she lets her temper get the best of her, she feels when it's the one. 
she would also feel if it's not and if it's not the one because when it rains it pours we would get an assortment of people when it's not the ones you just say no thank you or just pay no mind you don't have to entertain people that are not for you this is discernment it's also communication it's kind of nerve-wracking though when the queen of swords communicates on the fly because <laughs> you ain't never know what she gonna say five of swords manipulation self-sabotage Sometimes she runs her mouth and it's it sabotages things. It's it's what it is, self-sabotage. So if this is you and something comes in, something happens, take that little breather. I don't know why you may need a breather. <laughs> but take that breather so you can actually use discernment, okay? And logic. And the magician. Something just mad. Oh, that's what manifests right in front of your very eyes. This. The lovers. Gemini, but the lovers is all about a very sacred, old sexual union between two people. This is tale as old as time. Do, are you mad because it took so long? You all, you all like, well, I should. I was waiting for you for 17 lifetimes. What the hell you was? They're all, well, I don't know. I couldn't find you. I was sleeping. I didn't recognize you. Now I recognize you. Okay, so now I know it's you. God said it's you and I know it. I dreamt it. You'd be all stupid ass. I don't know why you would be mad at them. God only knows. But if it's the right one, trust me, he won't be for long. And also, don't fuck it up, the lady. Let's see what's up with the lady. Oh, the clover and the anchor. Somebody has to let go of one, right? Burden, weighing them down. So they let go of one. And then my, 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 how the luck has changed with the clover. It's ending a karmic. The ring, the ring is a proposal. It's an agreement. I, I dare say that some of you are going to meet the person that you marry this year. I don't give a fuck if you're in quarantine the whole time. Mm, the universe is very intellectual, yeah? Don't worry about how it's going to happen. When it's meant to, it will. That's all you got to worry about. How when I'm in quarantine? So what? You got technology. You got to go off our essential shit. Don't worry about how. Just worry about you worrying about you being on the right vibration for you. This is till as old as time. But I don't have to tell you that. You already know that. You already feel it in your gut that you have just been through life and have had relationships. Maybe you've loved them, but most of it's been karmic love, toxic love. Love that one good for either one of you because neither one of you were at a great vibration. You've always felt like you were missing something, but what you were missing was that love for self now that you've gone in within and done the inner healing and now you love you you know now okay i now i need somebody that know how to love me the way i love me now i know what i was missing all along i need me a me then that manifests because it's time and because you're the right vibration and they are the right vibration whatever it is oh, i love it Follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And also, thank you for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions on YouTube. I love you guys so very much. And don't forget, if you want to book a reading with me, please, before you email me, check my description box first of all of my YouTube videos to see what I offer first before you email me. And then when you email me, let me know what it is you want so that I know what to invoice you, okay? That way we can cut down on the back and forth communication and we can just get it done sooner. Okay, thanks you guys so much. I appreciate all of you. I love you guys. Bye.